Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the Woolen Homestead. Um, yeah, I'm going to do an actual knitting podcast today. I'm really excited. Um, Ethan and I just finished um, filming a video, just kind of a life to update on what's going on. Um, so that is also going to be posted separately. So you can watch that if you want to see what's going on in our lives. Um, but I thought for the knitting part, I would just do it separately um, so you can just see what I've been working on. So let's see um last time we podcasted where i showed knitting content was in march of 2019 and it is april 23rd 2020 so <laughs> i will show as much as i can um and it's hard to even remember what i was had going on so i'm just going to show what i've got so um first i figure i would start out with what i'm wearing um this i finished last may or june somewhere in there uh, actually, it was May, and because um, I know I had finished it right before my birthday, and um, this is the Sipola sweater by Caitlin Hunter, and I love it so much. So it's got this really cool detail on the arms, um, the color work on here, and then at the bottom, it's just all gray. It fits so wonderfully. It's nice and oversized. It's got a lot of positive ease, and I love it. It's so comfortable. It's just one of my favorites. Um, this was out of yarn that we had dyed. Um, I can't even remember what the colorway names are. I know this was Dove Gray. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what this purple one was called. Can't even remember. But um, but yeah, we had dyed this. Um, I had dyed it actually for this specific project, I believe. So yeah, that's one of my finished things. Um, let's see. This was the thing. Actually, I finished this before I finished my sweater. This is, oh, this is backwards. This is the Marled Magic Sweater by Stephen West. And I finished this right before Easter of last year because I wore it on Easter. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. Actually, I'm going to put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it's like, like just like a big poncho type thing. It's so comfortable. I love it so much. Oh, well, Ella wants to come say hi. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, it's super comfortable this is what the back looks like and yeah it's wonderful i love wearing this one um it's great for spring and fall because um you know it's not hi it's not super hot um and it's since it's got the um you know kind of like lacer lacier parts um it's better when it's not like super super cold out so yeah, that is my Marled Magic Sweater by Stephen West. So, yeah, that's my Marled Magic Sweater. Um, it was all done in um, lots of different fingering weight yarns. Some were minis, some were just half skeins, some were full skeins, but I didn't use the, all of the skein. And then paired it with um, a mohair. And oh, it's just so much fun. So much fun. I loved that project. I would absolutely need another one, 100%. Okay, this is my next project that I finished last year. Um... This is this is the Night Shift Shawl by Andrea Mowry. And mine is done all out of hand spun that I had spun up. So that was super fun. Um, I had actually started this project the day before my accident in May of last year. So this project means a ton to me. Um, when I was recovering, I worked on this a lot once I could knit again. There was a... A good almost maybe four or five days that I couldn't knit um, just because I was so so dizzy um, they couldn't even I couldn't even go on my phone it was just I just sat and stared <laughs> um, but yeah I adore this project um, I the only thing I wish I would have changed is maybe made it a little bit a little bit bigger some of the um, yarns were a little bit smaller than worsted weight so it just came out a little bit tinier um, than I would have wanted so it fits around really nice but these come apart really easily now if I just did like one of those little clasps I'm sure I'd be fine but um yeah I love it it's so nice it doesn't stop me from wearing it at all it just I kind of have to fiddle with it a lot um let's see okay here's the biggie that I finished one second okay sorry I could hear Ella getting into something <laughs> so um this is a huge thing that I finished at the beginning of this year, and it's my Cozy Memories blanket. 
my gosh. I started this in 2016 and oh, it's just wonderful. And I did the I-cord border on it. Um, I used the tutorial from uh, Kay, the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. It's on her channel if you want to see how to do that. And it was a great tutorial and I did it all the way around and I love it. It's very cozy. It's very much like a throw blanket. And yeah, I just couldn't believe I actually finished this. I worked on this a ton when I was recovering from my surgery in October. This is pretty much all I worked on. I loved working on it. It was just such a comfort in it. And yeah, I love this project so much. So now it stays up here in my craft room. Um, might bring it downstairs and use it in the living room. Um, you know, now that it's spring. It oh, and these I just finished recently, actually, these socks. These are the Rocketman colorway, um, and this is from Scrumptious Pearl. And then this gray is, it's actually the gray from this sweater. So, yeah, I love these. And I actually haven't even worn them yet. I just pretty much put them right on the uh, sock blockers. These sock blockers are from um, Patricia from Nitography. And, yeah, from Norway. So cool. I love them. They're just beautiful. They have the Norwegian star all the way down them. So yay, love these. So I think that's it for all that I've finished. Um, there were, you know, gifts and things that I made for Christmas and stuff like that have already been gifted. Knit my mom a pair of socks that I gave her last year. Um, but yeah, off the top of my head, that's all I can think of <laughs> that I've done. But um, yeah, there might've been things here and there. But um, I wanna show you what's almost done. It has been on the needles for almost two years. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is my Texture Time shawl by Stephen West. And I started this during the Mystery Knit Along, which was almost two years ago this fall. And this is all out of the Woolen Homestead yarn, um, which we currently are not selling anymore. So just as a FYI, in case you're like, where do I get this? Um, just got a little bit too much going on. So we've got, this is all I've got left to do, um, which it, it's mirrors this. And then there's just a border. The border is optional, but I totally want to do it. It's the bubble border and it's super cute. So, so excited. I've been addicted to knitting this. I almost ripped it out last year and I'm so glad that I didn't. It's been so comforting to knit on, especially when all this, you know, especially when this all first started going on and we didn't know if we were going to get laid off and all of this. It was just kind of very stressful. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's so wonderful. I love it. And it's in my fringe field bag. And then I've got from Serena at Wild in the Woods. This is her um, little pin that she sent us. I love it. So... Yeah, um, what else am I working on? Oh, this is new. This is a new cast on. Um, I think I cast this on at the end of the year in 2019. It's in this really old vintage um, bag that my aunt gave me. I want to say she said she had this in like the 70s or 80s, and I love it so much. So cool. And this is, oh, I'm in the middle of a row, but it is the, um, Actually, I don't even know the name of it, but it's it's an Aran sweater, um, and it's the one that's on the band for Lion Brand Fisherman's Wall, and it's on their website for free. But um, yeah, dang, I really wish I would have not been in the middle of a row, but you can still see kind of what's going on. It's very very cabled, and this is done in pieces. So this is the front panel or the back panel. I can't remember which one, and. Um, this is going to be for Ethan. So in theory, I would love to have this done by um, Christmas. I'm not holding my breath because it's very, there's a lot going on. <laughs> there's like, you know, a couple different papers that you're kind of having to reference. I've um, very much color coded it. So like I said, this is a free pattern. So I just highlighted um, the different, you know, cables and things like that on each of them. And then this is the key that tells you what to do. So, and then this is the actual pattern. Looks like I'm doing the back. <laughs> That's what that was, that piece is the back. But 
Um, yeah, I'm using Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool for that. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about that project. Um, I think it's going to be the coolest thing ever when it's done. I don't, I, I've gotten into a groove with it a little bit more. It's not like my, it's not mindless. So it's not like I gravitate towards it a lot. But when I want something that's not mindless, it's really, really nice for that. And um, I just think it's going to look so cool. Something else that I cast on is the Midas hat. Um, I cast this on at the beginning of the year too, I believe. Maybe February or so. And um, this is just a stockinette hat with a folded brim. And it's super, super nice for purse knitting, which is exactly what this is. So this is also a free pattern. Um, and so you, you knit the fold first and then where um, you do the turn, I did um, a contrasting color. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Just like a pop of green. And the yarn is Villain Vine Yarns in I Am No Bird. And it's the glittery one. So yay for glitter. I love it. Love this project. It's just super nice to have. I like it better than socks in the um, in my purse because like you literally knit for inches and inches before you have to do anything. Where it's a sock, you're generally knitting, you know, maybe like six inches and you have to do a heel and stuff like that. So, um, you know, this is a lot, a lot of knitting. I love it. Um, another project that's almost finished and I'm really excited about is my granny stripe blanket. This I have cast on or hooked on. I've had this going for about, I think, three years as well. I think it'll be three years this December. Because I know I cast it on the same year as my um, Cozy Memories, but I did it at the end of the year where Cozy Memories was um, on New Year's Day. So, this is what I've got done. And I won't be able to show all of it, but it's at the point right now where if I laid out uh, my whole lap down to my feet and past my feet are covered, and it I probably am, would be like up to about here while I'm working on it. So I'm going to say I probably only got about maybe this much more left on it. Um, and this will be done. And I think I'm going to immediately do another one. I love this project. I love having the magic knot balls to work from. Because you can just crochet and keep on going. You can use up the smallest little scraps. Love this. I'm using a C hook. It's a clover with the, the grips on it. And I love this. Makes it very nice. It's also got a really nice hook on the end of it too. It just goes right into the, the yarn super easy. And yeah, I'm a fan. Big time. Let's see. What else? got two more projects. I want to show you guys everything that I've got going. There's only one secret project that I can't show you, um, but maybe when it's done I'll be able to after it's been given. Um, let's see here. This is another project that's been on maybe a year and a half, two years. Um, it's another Stephen West project and it is the Brio Chevron blanket. And this is worsted weight and oh I love this one. This is such like this is one of those where you pull it out and you want to work on it like right now. Um but I'm so close to getting the texture time shawl done that that's kind of what I've been focusing on. But this is a lot of fun. Also in the middle of a row, but it's a blanket, so you kind of get the gist. <laughs> but um it's just brioche chevrons all the way across and Oh, it's so fun. So on the front side, the right side, I'm using like speckled worsted weight and DK. Um, I'm also got my hand spun in there just to kind of create a neat effect. And then on the wrong side is all solid colors. So yeah, I love this. I love this so much. I highly recommend it. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, big fan. So that is that project. I've got one more. Um, oh, I've also got a pair of socks for Ethan that I'm just about to cast on, but I haven't yet. So that's something else that I'll, I can show you guys later on. 
Um, so I kind of want to bring the podcast back. I miss talking to you guys about what I'm working on. Um, just kind of feeling, feeling out of touch. So I want to get back into podcasting again. Okay, another project that I'm working on is the Battenberg blanket. And this is super fun. Um, this is a pattern by Sandra Cherry Hart, and it's free. First, you make up all these little itty bitty squares. This is my little bag of squares that I've made up, but they're just these little tiny squares. And you can just use your scraps that you've got. Um, let's see, here we go. Yeah, there's tiny little things. And then you make up a square of the white and she's got a, a join as you go method that's really really neat and so I've just been having a lot of fun I started this at the beginning of the year um I think I was just I was still very sick but I was just kind of getting to the point where I was like felt like a human and um I would I was started on this and it's just so great I um had first seen this on Sharon's podcast, the um, SCR1T and O Knitting Project podcast, and I just thought it was the coolest blanket, and I love that you could do the minis and everything, and so um, she was the one that kind of got me to to start that. So love it, and yeah, I'm just using a um, bunch of different minis, kind of in kind of like pastel themed, and maybe a little bit of um, some brighter colors too, but really like it. Um, okay, so I just let the dogs outside, so we'll see how much time I've got before they start barking. <laughs> but while I was downstairs, I grabbed um, the yarn that I'm going to be knitting Ethan's socks out of, which I don't know if he knows that I'm knitting these for him yet. Um, he might have figured it out, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, this yarn is Manos del Uruguay Alegria, and I don't remember the colorway name because I left the tag downstairs, but... Um, he had uh, bought this for me when he went on a camping trip a couple of years ago, and um, he stopped at a yarn shop that was up north and bought this for me. So I just thought it was so sweet, but I just think this is like so, so his colors like kind of camo-y. And I always knit him a pair of socks for his birthday, which is in October, so I thought I would get started on it now. And um, I'm debating. I really want to try the Afterthought Everything socks, where you just basically knit a big old tube and then add everything in, like the heels, cuffs, and toes. I really kind of want to do that. I want to try it. I think it would be super easy to just have his purse knitting that way, so you can just knit the tube and not have to worry about adding in heels and things. Although I guess you start off with, I think you start off with the cuff, and then knit a long tube, and then knit a cuff at the end, and then divide it up. I believe that's how you do it, so... Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I've done a little bit of spinning. I wasn't necessarily going to talk about this, but I've got it right here, so I figured I might as well show it. Um, I've done these two skeins of yarn. Um, I have no idea what the fiber is. Um, this was kind of some mystery fiber that um, was found at... Uh, shoot, what is that called? The Ann Arbor Fiber Festival. Um, and um, there was a woman there that had um, watched the podcast and she found this and she's like, I thought of you. And so she gave it to me. It was so sweet. So yes, I've been really liking working with that. And um, there were, um, I had two different colors of it and I just kind of applied it together to make this really nice marled look to it. Um, but it's not super high contrast either. And, um, yeah, I, it was carded fiber, so I did backwards draft for it, and, um, short backwards draft is what I ended up doing. And then I've just got my information written on, like, a Holiday Inn sticky note. Um, but this one, it looks like I got about 150 yards for 90 grams. And this one is 100 grams, and got about almost the same actually looks like it's 158 yards um pre-bath so yeah that's exciting I'm just I love spinning I can't wait to do some more I've got some projects that I really want to get to working on um I really want to spin this loop bump and it's let's see it looks like it's 4.8 ounces 
This is the baby face colorway. It's Merino, Angelina, and Nylon. Ooh, I could do socks with this. I didn't think about that. Um, but what I was going to ask was what, what do you guys do with, with your loop bumps? Um, cause it's got the, oh, stripey socks would be really fun. Now that I know it's got marine or um, nylon in it, I might do that. But yes, I was going to ask what do you guys do with these? Like, well, how do you, do you apply it with something else to get more yardage? Um, you know, for anybody that has these, I know these are pretty popular, um, I was just curious what, what you guys do. I got this at the Michigan Fiber Festival a couple of years ago, and oh, it's just so pretty. I love this. So what I want, um, my birthday is next month, at the end of the month, and I want to get um, from Wound Up Fiber Arts. I had spun up some of her fiber before, and she has those little sock bundles, um, and it's just a bunch of leftovers, and you can make really fun, crazy, stripy socks with it. That's like on my list. I'm going to make sure that I get some of that next month because she seems to have them pretty regularly. But um, next time they're in the shop, I'm going to get those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are well. That's that's it for my projects. Um, I'd like to show you guys my craft room at some point. It's still in the works right now, so I'm not ready to show it yet. But I'm um, <laughs> trying to get the like organization down that I want. Um, that's been, that's actually been one of the things I'm struggling with is like how to organize it and where to put stuff. And I've completely revamped where I put my yarn and everything. Um, actually that I can show you because it's right here, but that's my little, um, where all my yarn is. And Ethan actually made me that, um, he made me that bookshelf for Christmas. So yeah, I love that. But I kind of want to eliminate those tubs just cause I don't know. I just don't really want the plastic tub setting out. <laughs> so yeah, working on that. Um, I'm going to figure out something as far as organization, but yeah. Um, I mentioned, I think I mentioned on our other video that Ethan and I did that I had sewn some masks. So that was really kind of nice to get back into doing some sewing. Um, and I made it with a little dog print on it. <laughs> that was fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are well. Um, I, like I said, I really want to get back into doing this. That's why I wanted to show like all of the projects that I've got going and I can show you guys like, you know, uh, show you the progress that I make on them. So, all right. I hope you guys are well. Um, I did want to talk about this mug. I can't drink it yet because the cup or the tea is still too hot. I've got some black chai tea in there, but it, um, how cool is this mug? My brother-in-law made these for us for Christmas. How oh, cool. I've got a set of four. And then he also made us um, plates. Like little, they're like, um, almost like a side plate. And oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. So this is like my go-to mug now in the morning. Um, and there's four of them just like this one. So love it. That is the benefit of having um, family that is that are all artists so <laughs> it's really cool so yeah oh I gotta show you what my mom made me too one second so my mom made me this cushion cover because I have my spinning um, chair up here and it's a hardwood chair I just basically took one of the extras we had from the dining table and I had asked if she could make me a cushion um, to go on it so she what she did was she got a cover so that way I can wash it really easily um, and so it's just like on the inside, it's got just like a basic tie on cushion, but then she quilted this cover. How beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it so much. So yeah, she's been having fun doing lots of quilting and maybe once everything's, you know, we can visit family again, uh, maybe mom and I can do, um, a podcast together. That would be a lot of fun. I can show you guys what she's been working on too. She's been quilting like crazy. So, all right. Well guys, I will leave it at that. And yeah, if you want to find me online, um, I'm the Woolen Homestead on Instagram. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>